Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hello? You can start. Okay, yes, sir. You can start now. Thank you very much. A very good morning to all of you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is my sixth webinar on behalf of QCrete Redimix India Private Limited. This subject is not very technical, but yet very interesting. The subject for today is viewing personified concrete. Concrete plays a very big role in life of a human being. However, very seldom we think of human qualities of concrete. Concrete is created by mixing or rather blending materials like cement, water, etc. Human being is also a blend of genes. Life of concrete and human beings is difficult to predict. Concrete can be produced like a human athlete preparing for 100 meter run. With correct choice of cement, it can harden fast and improve the speed of construction. At the same time, selection of concrete along with other cementitious material can help produce concrete, which can gain strength gradually and perform like a marathon runner, helping the engineer to produce structures with lesser heat generation. I will also be laying stress on concrete as a family of materials and give you many more analogies as we go through. We live in concrete and work in concrete. Whether we are working from home or in the office, we are still in concrete. We fly on concrete, we drive on concrete. We land on concrete, we float on concrete. We play in concrete, we sit on concrete. We walk on concrete, we draw on concrete, we repair concrete, we damage concrete, we pray for concrete when concrete does not give us satisfactory results and we are worried about huge expenditure for repairs. At times, if our prayers are not answered, we die in concrete. So friends, welcome to the show on viewing personified concrete. Here is a kid asking granddad to tell me more about concrete. I had already introduced a family of materials. Concrete is a family of materials. So I'm not going to take much time on once again introducing the family. You can see cement is the head of the family, water is the pampered elder son, Ladla Beta, what we call. Children are like coarse and fine aggregate produced in plenty without any quality control, just like the children in family. Daughter-in-laws are identical to chemical admixtures whose compatibility has to be built up 
with various materials in the family. The mother-in-law is like the flash or slag, a very important material, especially in high performance concrete. And of course, the ultra fine material, which we are add to gain high strengths, good workability, and excellent durability in concrete. So they are like the youngest children in the family who give a lot of cohesiveness to the family and also at the same time performing in the various properties of concrete and the family. Some more syndromes in materials. All the members always remain together. They should remain together and not segregate while the concrete is being transported or pumped. They must be compatible with each other. Otherwise, the performance of the other mem members of the family may not be that appreciably good. They must blend with each other so that they function like a family or like concrete material. They must be in correct proportion. Each individual material should be properly proportioned, means the power of the top member of the family, cement, need not be more than the others. Everyone contributes almost equally if they are proportioned and given powers according to the requirement of the engineer. They must display good and consistent quality. Each material must play its specific role when concrete is in plastic and or in hardened state. Each material must ensure strength, durability and performance in concrete form. In the photograph, you see the Concrete being pumped. You can see the arrow. Concrete is under pressure from one side and resistance, frictional resistance in the pipe on the other side. So the material squeezes out and a thin layer, lubricating layer of water, fine materials is formed and it reduces the friction and therefore the concrete starts flowing or it is pumped through the pipe. In the lower two images there are two types of concrete. One is densely packed with the aggregates and the other one is not. It has more gel portion of the concrete and lesser aggregates. Concrete is made up of several materials. The flesh comes from cement and cementitious materials like GGPS, Liash, Metacrylic. Ultrafine slag, microsilica, and steel fibers. While the aggregates, coarse and fine, along with the reinforcement, are like the bone structure in concrete. We always say concrete bleeds because it contains water and it comes out from the pores on the surface of the concrete when it is freshly placed. The chemical admixture forms a part of the blood in the 
boundary mass. Concrete like a human body consists of air, liquids like water, water is like the flesh as I told you earlier, reinforcements is like our bones and if you remember if a human bone is fractured, it is reinforced with steel inside. Concrete has a skin, it has pores and at times even voids. When a person does not behave properly, uh, we always say, Iska dimag mein, there is a void. There is a void in the brain. Therefore, he behaves in an awkward way. Concrete requires seven, seven steps to be manufactured. Human requirement is seven steps to get married, what we call as Saptapadi. It is uh, as per the Hindu culture. When the fire is lit, the fire in the heart is there because you are getting married and you have to take seven steps. The first step is batching. In Saptapadi, we say it is giving livelihood. The next step is mixing. In Saptapadi, we say strength, physical, mental and spiritual. Remember all these vows, the would-be husband and wife would be promising each other. I hope it is not only when the fire is on, but forever once they are married. Concrete needs to be transported. The gain, it is gaining wealth and prosperity. Placing of concrete is like knowledge, happiness and harmony. One has to be very careful when placing concrete. It should not segregate. Compaction is equivalent to healthy, long-lived children. Compaction helps in removing all the voids from concrete and improves in the life of concrete. Finishing gives you the joy of all seasons as per the promise. Anything which is finished properly Anything which is beautiful has to be finished properly. And the last, but not the least important, is curing. And if you really want everlasting friendship and true companionship from concrete, you have to cure it properly. And remember, all these promises we make when we get married. But once the fire is put off, we forget the promises we have made to each other. But as long as you promise and follow them, the marriage is conceived and you always say they live happily thereafter, producing healthy and strong children. Some more syndrome in materials. Fine and coarse aggregates like the children in the family are best when washed and clean and are free from deleterious materials. Uh, you can see the slide here, the central one is a washing machine for aggregates. Uh, we used to use uh, rounded aggregates in our unit five, first 500 megawatt thermal project for the Tata Power Company. And because of the coating of silt and clay on the aggregates, the strength used to drastically drop. 
than what was required as per the mixed design. And we have washed the aggregates and made them surface. Mind you, even though the weight of silt and clay on the aggregate was within the IS383 mix, still washing was because the surface was coated of the aggregates and it would not give the adequate strength. Many a times people uh, question the use of rounded aggregates in concrete. I can tell you that the world record is there that concrete up to 90 megapascals has been produced using gravel aggregates. Photograph here, the pop outs taking place. This was because of the silt content or the coating on the aggregate was too much and the concrete was not. And on the other, Uh, mic is not working. Unmute. Sound is not coming. Sir. Of concrete. And the other is the hardened state of concrete. In plastic state, concrete must have good workability and good cohesiveness. In plastic state, concrete is like a young child. Very flexible, very workable, and it can be put into a mold or formwork to the any desired shape. Concrete in plastic states need to be cohesive. If it is cohesive, it becomes a very good material for pumping and it can be tested by forming a laddu and tossing up in your hand and when it comes back and drops in your hand after a five feet fall, it should not segregate. If two human beings do not agree with each other, the family is aggregates. And this is due to the poor understanding or cohesiveness between the two not being that good. So concrete must be very cohesive so that you can transport all the materials properly, compact them and have good quality concrete. Concrete, like a human child, needs to be carefully protected when young. And the best way to protect this young child concrete is by proper curing. Many a times people think that curing is only good in the daytime. And when the specification says you have to do seven days curing, it is round the clock curing because drying of the surface of concrete also happens in the night due to wind and therefore the strength is lost. Concrete can develop defects like drying shrinkage cracks at a later stage and plastic crack during the early stages of concrete. The best way to avoid plastic shrinkage cracks is that as soon as the concrete is laid and finished, it should be covered. The surface must be protected. 
when you cover the concrete with a plastic sheet, mind you, not with a hessian cloth. Hessian cloth is porous. Plastic sheet is not porous. The elements of nature like wind, high ambient temperatures, low humidity can harm the concrete and concrete starts developing what we call as plastic shrinkage cracks. Children are more workable and cohesive than adults. And we can see that in concrete because once the concrete has taken shape, it is very hard and it's unlikely to give you the desired finish and shape after it is set hard. Young children can be easily guided, educated, and their character shape to the requirement of the parents, of course, and their performance improves when this shaping is done in the correct manner. You can see the unprotected concrete at the soffit of the slab has developed plastic shrinkage cracks. Later on, when it was properly protected, you can see no cracks and concrete will be perfectly durable and functional when the curing is done throughout the required specified area. Good education helps in proper character molding. Good workability helps proper placement and compaction. So both human being and concrete behave quite identically when young or in plastic stage. Concrete like a human is born with defects if initially not taken care and or protected. Honeycombs due to stiff mix, no end stoppers and poor compaction due the defects and these defects remain forever in concrete and defective concrete even if it is repaired is not as good as the concrete made in a correct manner without the defects there is a hate love hate relationship between cement concrete and water. Cement concrete hates excess water when mixing. High water to cement ratio will give durability problems, higher porosity in concrete, and also the life of the concrete will reduce considerably. Cement concrete loves a lot of water when curing. And I have already emphasized the importance of curing. Cement concrete hates water after it has hardened or when it has hardened. Because water enters the concrete from outside, water carries harmful chemicals like chlorides and sulfates with it. The chlorides cause problem of corrosion in concrete, accelerates the corrosion process in concrete. Concrete has reinforcement in it and this creates rust and debonding of reinforcement in concrete. Debonding means loss of strength. Debonding means the rust which is now coating the reinforcement starts expanding. The expansion causes cracks, more cracks in concrete, more ingress of water.
like concrete, I also need some water for curing my throat. Remember, cement concrete, it is not loud for water at the first time. You must be careful and control your water to cement mm -hmm. ratio when you produce or design concrete. Concrete, like human being, has three stages of life. First is the childhood, when concrete is just prepared. Second is the youth, the young age. And third is the old age. All three stages of life are there for human beings also. And to live a healthy life, you need proper protection in childhood, proper exercise when young, and again, proper care at old age. Compressive strength requirement of concrete is one of the most important properties in hardened concrete. Here you can see in the photograph, the structure is the human being carrying the lady who is the live load and the bag she is carrying is the dead load. Everyone is in smiles now, but if this man has a wrong technique to lift up such heavy weights, later on he will be not vertical but horizontal lying in bed because of the bones being unable to take the required load. Probably like this structure which is very awkwardly designed. I don't know for what reasons, but certainly it can have a serious problem should in case earthquake hits Mumbai. The flexural strength is equally important, especially when you are constructing roads. The concrete is a very flexible material. You can see here different structures looking very beautiful because of the shape, etc. And mind you, this is done with powder concrete where very high strengths are done and this particular slab, this is not a bridge which transports vehicles but it is a light weight carrying bridge, human mm -hmm. beings can mm -hmm. travel on it and also the thickness of the slab is hardly mm -hmm. one inch. Essential requirements and properties again is the shape, people have made different types of structures to suit their fancy, these were the two towers built at the time when they were built, they were the tallest in the world, 20 floors of these towers had car parks which can deliver out for 22 feet to hold those cars and this building is still durable in United States. It was constructed with high strength concrete. On the other side you see is the blinking eye bridge. Again its shape and the way it operates resembles blinking of the eye of a human being and when the ships below have to cross the bridge 
the eye blinks. Otherwise, it is open like this and the vehicles can travel over the bridge. Concrete, if designed correctly and designed well, can take heavy loads. Uh, you can see this water tank looking very beautiful. It can take the weight of the water as well as the concrete tank comfortably because the columns are designed to take the load. Uh, this is the Santiago Calatrava's transmission tower for the Barcelona Olympics. We have designed. Cantilevers are a very common thing in construction. And here you can see balance or the cantilevers coming out from the embankments when where they meet they will bridge the gap across the river like even this can make a cantilever Like a human being often does not survive due to either poor quality of design, construction, and maintenance, or a combination of any two or all these factors. You can see here a collapse of a building at the time of construction. This is like a human being not surviving the birth. This structure was built just before the Bhuj earthquake and was owned by the Sarpanch of Mahi village. And before the puja could be performed, and this house worth 22 lakh rupees was to be habited, it collapsed. So this is like a human being in childhood dying due to poor quality of construction or due to use of poor design. In the lower this thing, you can see the collapse of one of the buildings of Unam Chambers. This collapse was due to random addition and alterations done on the fifth floor of the building, resulting in is partial collapse because the columns below got overloaded. What the resident had done was a multinational company was, was wanted to change the orientation of the columns with the full building in place because they were not able to conceal the conduits, electrical conduits in the concrete. They removed the cover portion of four columns and tried to embed the conduits. They were not successful. So they removed the stirrups, what we use for design, as shear forces come in, so the 
stirrups were removed, conduits were put, and the columns were plastered without the stirrups. Within a few days, the portion of the building collapsed and 22 people died in this collapse. So the same goes those whom God loved die young. It is also true for young concrete structures. There is agony in concrete if the concrete is not constructed properly, there is corrosion taking place. You can see the Akash deep building here, which collapsed. It was a normal ground plus two story building extended for five more floors on the top, very close to the Western Railway line in Mumbai. Luckily, it collapsed at around three o'clock early morning. So there were no local trains running at that time. It fell on the railway track and the entire railway between Churchgate and Mumbai Central was disorganized for months together, causing harassment to millions of commuters who go up and down the railways. So the municipal corporation came out with a bylaw stating that no building should be constructed within 50 feet of the building of the railway. But today we are constructing more than 50 feet tall buildings and if they fall then you can imagine what will be the status of the railways. Concrete also gives ecstasy to the human beings. Here are a few beautiful concrete structures. Ingal building was constructed in 1902 in Cincinnati, USA. This was the first ever reinforced concrete skyscraper in the world and is now more than 100 years old and still living, existing properly. And we can certainly compete buildings, competing with human beings also who survived for more than 100 years. You can see the tallest building in the world, 818 meters tall, Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Beautiful building. And especially looks more beautiful when it is lighted up in the night. We have the Aqua building in Chicago, Illinois, has a wave type of an exterior because the thin cantilever balcony slats are designed in such a way that they cantilever out between 120 to 229 millimeters and extended sorry, thickness of 120 to 229 millimeters and extended from 0.23 to 0.36 meters gives the appearance and shape which is very unique like waves in the sea and cause ecstasy to the onlookers. John Ruskin, the architect, said, when we build, think that we build forever. It's a very good thought. Everyone knows Trump and his family. 
This is the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago. When built, it was the sixth tallest structure in the world. When it was built, and why is, was it built so tall? There is a nice story behind it. I'm not sure whether it was Trump himself or his father who built this particular tower. Mrs. Trump was fond of a living space in the sky above the clouds. So she requested her husband that when he builds this tower, her flat should be above the cloud level. So they occupied the topmost flat in this hotel and tower, but there was trouble. On a cloudy day, she could not look down at the streets of Chicago and she would not know what dress to wear, whether it is raining, whether it is uh, not raining, etc. So she had to always contact the watchman below and ask, what is the weather down there? Of course, the watchman will do his duty and say, Madam, it is raining, and then she'll select the dress accordingly, or it is not raining, then she'll select the dress accordingly. So one can understand why Mr. Trump at times behaved Extrinsically, and I don't know his what is from his wife or maybe mother. There are other structures which were built, and one of these structures I was involved with is the RCC caisson for the Bombay Unit 5, which we built in the naval dry dock and then towed it along the Bombay high sea where it was sunk and we put it was used as a foundation for the cooling water pump house for the first 500 megawatt unit Bombay fire. It was like a big barge or pontoon weighing about 2000 metric tons and could float in water because of its design. And when the gates were open, the water went inside and the caisson sank. There are other excellent structures built in the high sea. This is one of them where they used 80 megapascal concrete. It was in the icy seas with very aggressive weather. Uh, they use combination of fly ash and micro silica to achieve the strength and durability. And on the right hand side, you can see the Kutub Minar in the capital of India, Delhi, which is a very tall structure but made out of conventional materials and still existing. So you can use durable concrete, you can use other materials and build forever. Architectural design is not about dressing up. Design is about stripping bare. And many architects felt that you should have concrete which is not plastered and painted to show its beauty. You should have foam finished concrete. One of the architects has done a lot of work, the Carbuzier, Carbuzier, a French architect, and he has several buildings in Chandigarh which 
designed the city of Chandigarh, but because of no protection on the form finished concrete, after a few years they have started deteriorating. Maybe because the concrete itself was not done properly. But there are many structures in the world which are form finished and have lasted for several years. Concrete, like a human being, not only needs to be strong, but also needs to be durable. Just because a boxer or a wrestler is strong does not mean he will live long. Same thing holds for a concrete structure also. Human being also should be durable. And there are several things to be done in case of the human body also, as in case of concrete. To be durable. You can see here the thermal power station TG deck of unit number six, made out of M40 grade durable concrete. The Milau Bridge, which has the tallest piers in the world. 343 meter tall, the tallest one is. And of course, the Magdeburg water bridge in Germany built in 2003, which is like a flyover of ships for ships to travel through and cross the river below. The difference that these structures have as compared to others is quality. Quality is very, very important for not only human beings, the quality of lifestyle, but also for concrete. They have survived for 4,587 years old. The Coliseum has survived for maybe partially for 2,000 years and partially it was destroyed by the war and of course by the earthquake and various other environmental conditions. But it goes to prove that Colosseum was also a durable structure. One of the Roman structures which have survived is the Pathion, which was constructed way back in 126 AD. This is the only structure in the world which the Romans built, which is fully intact. No major repairs have been carried out. You can see here the aqueducts built in 19 BC, Pont du Gard in France, still exist. These were built by the Romans and used for transporting water from one end of the city to another and has survived for many years. You can see here, Temple of Thebes, 1950 BC, Egyptian masonry construction, how they were being done. This is a tablet 
on the wall of one of the masonry uh, walls built during that time. And you can see the way they were building manually such walls. And sometimes it reminds us that we in India have not changed since 1950s. Same techniques are used to build walls and conventional structures. Concrete should be designed and constructed to have no maintenance costs. Health is wealth for human beings. It is also true for concrete. Because human beings staying in such a building, which repeatedly requires repairs, is a great loss of wealth for the humans staying in this building because they spend heavily on repairs. And before the repairs are over, and painting is done, it again needs repairs. Such is the quality of construction in the past in Mumbai, which has very aggressive environment. And in the period between 1960 and 1970, most of the buildings were constructed with adulterated cement and resulted in heavy repairs. Of course, some of the civil engineers were lucky because they were initially like the Kynax giving birth to a child. Later on changed over to becoming surgeons and started repairing the buildings, which was more lucrative than normal construction. Expensive taste of a human being is like high maintenance cost. Your hands are carrying load, your mind is worried, and pockets get in. Concrete, like a human being, cannot take tension. You can see a human being under tension. She is tense because, not because her building has collapsed, but because Brazil has lost the football finals in the World Cup. Masonry and concrete structures, like a human being, may be strong, but if it is not durable and healthy, then it has to be repeatedly repaired, requiring surgery and medication. Concrete loses strength as corrosion of reinforcement causes the loss of bond between steel and concrete. Corrosion, yeah. Corrosion is like cancer in a human body. It spreads very fast. And at times I feel it cannot be cured because even sometimes repaired building show signs of corrosion and worries for the occupants. Health of concrete structures and human beings also depends on the environment. This bridge collapsed because it was on a very aggressive environment on a river which had salt water and erosion took place resulting in a portion of the Bandovi bridge collapsing. Now it is redone, repaired and it is allowing traffic to go through. On the right hand side you can see a ESIC hospital in Ahmedabad showing bad, bad health. Though Ahmedabad has less rainfall than Mumbai, the quality of construction was not good. But the design of this particular hospital was done by the PWD and it withstood the earthquake to a certain extent, 
the building did not collapse but showed a lot of signs of distress and this hospital had to be vacated or in other words we can say hospital got hospitalized like a human being and when you need hospitals during emergencies you lose them especially when the emergency is due to earthquakes human beings also have problems when they stay in environments which are very aggressive to human health and therefore one has to be careful about their health just as we have to be careful about the health of the structures if we are constructed carelessly and it is placed in an aggressive environment human beings buildings like humans can dance architect frank gary created these dancing structures which were designed in such a way that when the wind blows the structure may slightly shift and behave like two human beings dancing together frank gary also said that structure should speak of its time and place but own for timelessness so whenever you are constructed a structure in an already built environment then you have to match the architecture of the existing structure with the new structure and also make sure that the new structure like the old excellently constructed structures should aim for timelessness concrete is like our better half when hot it needs cooling when cold it needs warmth so when concrete is built in a hot environment massive structure you have to make sure that it is cool concrete using ice flakes and managing the concrete temperatures to be low during the construction so that it does not develop thermal cracks in its structure in cold climatic condition human being needs to protect themselves even the aggregate stack has to be protected and the snow removed before the construction starts here we put flake ties in concrete here we try to avoid the snow from going into concrete via the aggregates concrete like human is affected by hot weather so everyone likes to wear less clothes jump into nice cool water in a hot climate whereas in the cold climate concrete needs protection so you prepare ice flakes these are the ice flakes prepared for the first metro bombay concrete works some use fogging to raise the relative humidity of the air and keep the concrete cool and prevent it from cracking after it is cracked ice flakes are put so that concrete remains cool and does not lose or does not gain unnecessary high temperatures concrete in hot weather cannot be pumped properly if 
the concrete becomes stiff due to the heating of the pipes. That high ambient temperatures can reduce the workability and cause choking of concrete while concrete is being placed in hot weather without any precaution. Concrete, like human beings, is affected by cold weather, as I told you. Uh, they wear nice wooden clothes or they can, like Eskimos, stay in the ice palace. Concrete footing is being protected by a tarpaulin. Concrete filling is being protected by polythene plastic sheets around and hot air blown inside so that the workers feel comfortable at the work. You can see here our batching plant in Uzbekistan, Tashkent. The aggregate stacks were protected by plastic coated tarpaulin sheets. Every day in the morning, if there was a snowfall in the night, the snow had to be removed and hot water put over the snow to melt it fast. The tarpaulins were removed and concreting commenced with the aggregates intact below. Winston Churchill once said that we shape our buildings, thereafter they shape us. Well, I would say Sir Winston Churchill is wrong as far as India is concerned. He was always wrong as far as India was concerned. And you can see here this is because we keep shaping our building till they collapse prematurely. I always compare the additions and alterations being done in several important structures, several RCC structures, well constructed. I compare the interior decoration, decorators who are not architects nor engineers as butchers. They cut the column, they demolish things without any knowledge of the structural design of that particular structure which they are repairing just to please their clients. I have already given you the example of the Poonam chambers which collapse, you can see here, because they modified the columns, the reinforcement in the columns. I will tell you something on the Mansi building, which during the Buj earthquake, 300 kilometers away from the epicenter, collapsed because of the design and later on additions and alterations done in the building by the builder, who was staying on the topmost floor he cantilevered out his flat for occupying larger area of the building. He had made swimming pool at the top, causing again additional load. No approval was taken. He lost some members of the family and as well as lost his peace of mind because immediately he was arrested. But later on, I don't know what has happened. But I have never seen any action being taken on such builders and such persons. They somehow survived the police action and once again continue to live to do more such additions and alterations. 
Let us see what architects have to say about these structures. Frank Lloyd Wright talked about the falling waters Pittsburgh. When organic architecture is properly carried out, no landscape is ever outraged by it, but always developed by it. The good building makes the landscape more beautiful than it was before the building was built. These are his uh, thoughts because he built this particular falling waters of Pittsburgh, where he constructed the building instead of facing the waterfall on the waterfall itself. So comparing it with human beings, concrete like some human beings has the potential to make the ambience more beautiful than what it was before. Therefore, whenever we have parties, etc., we invite certain friends and family members who are good entertainers during the party to improve the ambience, just like the falling water of Frank Lord Wright. Mario Botta, Church of Santa Maria, the architect, says that concrete opens up boundless depths, faces, walls, and accomplishes the miracle of inexplicable spaces. And these are the structures he has built. Concrete, like some human beings, is a true companion with boundless energy to perform. So we have seen in our life some human beings who have boundless energy to perform and are at the same time true companions, just like the structures Mario Botta built. My favorite architect, Santiago Calatrava, after building the Bilbo Airport in Spain, talks about concrete. Concrete to me is a humble material whose fluidity and malleability is in stark contrast with the architectural end results, but is unmatched by other construction materials. It is poetry in motion. He calls concrete poetry in motion and look what he has done. Look at the beautiful structures. He has architectured and designed. And you can see this is the Milwaukee Museum. And he has designed the fins of this particular bird like structure, which he has architectured. As the sun rises and sets, the fins change their orientation so that the articles kept in the museum are always lighted up because of the sun's. And this is how he shows that there is poetry in motion. Everything is from concrete. All his entire designs are lovely structures. I have been to Spain, but uh, in a city where he has completely occupied with all his beautiful structures. Concrete, like some human beings, is a humble material with immense potential. Some architects have made structures resembling the human forms. 26 foot Marlin Monroe in the Windy City, a Chinese architect in the US, has designed a building in the shape of Marlin Monroe. Santiago Calatrava again made the turning torso in Sweden. Uh, this structure has a history. Uh, they made this structure, but later on 
there are no there were no buyers to occupy flats in this structure so ultimately the government converted into a museum the palace of fine arts was a stone structure later on because of its durability problems they removed the entire structure and constructed the structure using concrete in the same manner as it was existing so this is a lady in concrete you can see how beautifully the architecture is done some humans prefer fair skins while others prefer dark skins an architect by the name of gurjit singh maru he says that concrete takes light well white is too stark he does not prefer white the gray of concrete records the changing colors of light but does not itself come hard at the the white way the way white does and he prefers concrete to be in gray color maybe some human beings prefer dark screen partners and some less skin partners concrete can be dressed in different finishes like the human being. so we made concrete fascias and then later on cover the building to look like a beautifully dressed room concrete can be used to make structures look glamorous like a woman adorning jewelry and this is the how the interior of our hotel has been designed uh, making concrete jewelries to beautify concrete can be used to dress structures in various design colors shades to make them look glamorous and beautiful like human beings again all different types of fascias are used for concrete to look contemporary art and modern structures concrete is today following the dresses made in the earlier years see through dresses have always been in fashion since ages now concrete too follows this fashion using fiber optic cables in concrete mix design you can see a human beings on the other side of the concrete wall which can be as thick as 20 feet because the fiber optic cables allow the light to pass through the wall and here it is how the fiber optic cable can help see through concrete concrete floors and garments of human being are identical they can be made out of several fabrics and several materials in concrete you can see you can paint the concrete you can etch the concrete and give different colors and architecture features what's next exciting days are ahead can we have concrete which talks or walks we have been using this phase walls have ears but we are lucky that walls don't have tongue to talk otherwise so many family secrets can come out can we have concrete buildings which can grow taller or stronger with time can we have concrete roads which can go longer 
with time. Can we have concrete which never cracks? I think when concrete has to crack because it is made out of water and cement. But if anyone discovers concrete which does not crack, will certainly deserve a Nobel Prize. But mind you, concrete has to be as at the same price as concrete which cracks. Can we learn to respect old concrete structures without damaging them, modifying them in an arbitrary manner? All these are the questions before you people ask me the questions I am putting for to you. Because I have very little answers for them at the moment. I thank my wife and participants for your presence and good wishes. And the young kid here is thanking his granddad. Now I understand concrete much better. I thank Sherry Fernandez, MD, and his team who made this webinar possible. Kaushika and Ashwarya are a part of his team. I thank them too. They all represent QCRIT. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon, friends. Good afternoon, friends. Uh, thank you, sir. We are come to thank the you. end of under. Yeah. Thank you, sir. We have come to the end of another informative QCRIT technical series on uh, personified concrete. Uh, CM Dodi, as also known as uh, commonly known as CMD, and you, ex uh, or, uh, you expand in civil engineering term, it's called uh, concrete mixed design. Uh, his talks are, as usual, very vibrant and lively, and his today's talks was uh, shown concrete and human beings are inseparable, actually. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for your excellent and uh, knowledge uh, sharing experience with today's presentation, what you had shown to us. I thank uh, all the participants who had spared valuable time to attend our QCRIT webinar series. I'm Shelly Fernandez signing off till next Saturday to rejoin you with uh, a new topic, a new topic in our series. Thank you very much. Thank you, all the participants. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao.